the look of the camps, um, obviously with an army on the march, it's going to be quite rough, quite uh, thrown together. Rob's camp a bit, bit more muddy and worn and subdued. So that was one look for Rob's camp, and obviously we see it quite a few times in his journey. I think very much the landscape helped us as well. You know, we were trying to kind of put the camps into specific places and relating them to bits of architecture. So trying to identify where they were in the landscape by, by using the landscape, you know, as a, as a kind of a, a shape to work with. And then obviously visual effects would come in and extend on to what we couldn't actually physically build. So it kind of gave a sense of the, the absolute scale of it. Odis Tower is a beautiful tower in the background to establish Rob's camp. Beautiful waterside with Strangford Loch behind you um, if you need to require the water, which we did a few scenes which did feature the water. You feel that these guys are I mean, literally slogging through the mud to get to their battles and very much the unit was slogging through the, <laughs> the mud to film it. <laughs> Getting any company of this size in and out of places like that is a, it's a real operation and if you've had a bit of rainfall, you really do battle and things get stuck. and. Um, I found the first series and the series, we, the second part of the schedule, we tend to rely a bit more on tractors and trailers and local help and farm labourers who know how to get stuff in and out for us. And again, just a lovely looking area with a, a good field and a lovely aspect to it. So um, valuable one to revisit.